Hi everyone! Today I'm here to show you how to make amiibo coins for the Animal Crossing game. As you can see, I have front and back sides to the coins. And I'm about to cut them out to fit in the coins, the small plastic round ones. I found a great tutorial on YouTube on both how to use the app I'm going to use later on but also a template to print I think it was 25 millimeter coins so that's what I've been printed out here here you can see I'm going to use lolly as an example so I'm going to make her amiibo and there's the back side I want the front and the back side with their names also for the ones that I forget forget often. Here is the sticker. It's the thing you program to have the amiibo coins information. And there is Lolly. And there's the back side of it. And there's the coin slot or coin case as you call it there this is where i'm going to place the image and the sticker inside and also i have some glitter you have to excuse the bad bad zooming but you're gonna get a closer look at it once it's finished at the end And here's an example of one I've already made, Sasha, or Sasha, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but I've made a few before, so I hopefully I know what I'm doing. Here is the app. Worth to know is that it, if you don't want ads, you will have to pay or donate, as the maker calls it. Uh, but anyway, I have set up it already. You will find in the description how to set up the source files so I'm just gonna write and choose lolly for my amiibo there she is and information about her like when her birthday is if it's a he or she so I just place the coin, a uh, coin, the sticker on the on the table, and then I press right when I've chosen her, and just place my phone over it, and then it says success. I managed to write lolly over to the sticker. And then it's just to assemble everything and put everything together. I've cut them out so they're finished. The way I makes them make them is that I put the back side and flip it so I place the sticker with the sticky side on the back side of it you can see a bit there the text on the back side and the flipper on top of it Then I'll take some glue and I glue the front side of um, which is the picture of the villager on top of the sticker and the back side. Just a little bit of glue to make sure that it, st it sticks. But I also make a little glue to the back side of the coin plastic coin to make sure that it really sticks so it doesn't flop around
And there it is, all assembled. And then it comes the best, the funniest part, and that is to put the glitter inside of the coins. And that I do before putting the lid on. But just just a little bit of glitter so you can see still see the picture. There's a bit of a better view over the coin. So just a little bit of glitter. Both I use the pink, pink flakes and some black, black uh, shimmering stars. And then I put the coin lid on, just like normal. But first I need to check so the glitter won't stuck in the edges of the coin. And then I shake it around a bit to make sure that the glitter hasn't stuck. And here she is, all finished. There's a bit better view. But like I said, not too much glitter. And of course, for fun, you can shake it around and the glitter will move. And now it's time to try the coin out and see that it really works. I usually do this before. I place it in a coin just in case that it wouldn't work. I don't want to have gone through the trouble to put it together. But that can be important to do it before. But here I was pretty confident that it would work. And it did work! So now I have a Lolly Amiibo coin. Here are the others. I have made pre 
previously to Lolly. And as you can see, some have more glitter than the others. I kind of just put it in a put in a hunch. And of course you shake them around and you see the glitter will move. So here's a pre previous of all of my coins made so far and I'm definitely pl planning to make more. It was kind of very easy and fun to make them and that you can choose. You can choose whatever glitter you want, you can choose even the background color I actually changed. I think it was grey from the beginning, but I changed it to a bit of a, what do you call, eggshell white, cream white. And yeah, I was, I, you can make your own um, art on the coins if you want to. I was kind of lazy and just took the pictures of online. But if you want to, you can hand draw them all for yourself. I was planning to, planning to do that, but I didn't have the time for it. So, but I actually am pretty happy with the results. I actually think they look very good. Even though I did have a little bit too much glitter in some of them, but you can still see which amiibo coin is which. So yeah, that's it for today. Now you know how to make your own Amiibo coins. And I hope you find it as fun to do them as I did. Thank you so much for watching guys and stay tuned. Bye bye.